Hi, my name is Benjamin Langholz, and uh, I'm an artist. I'm originally from California, but now I live in Berlin. And uh, yeah, this uh, artwork I'm sitting on right now is called Stone Nine. It's part of a series of artworks I've made using stone and steel with the idea of having sort of a floating feeling while walking on a pathway of stones. Uh, so Stone Nine uh, is part of this stone series and the way the stone series was born uh, I was traveling around the world looking for ways to transfer these feelings to people. I uh, eventually started living in Tokyo and studying Kimbaku or Japanese rope bondage. So to learn how to tie a person and to tie a person and bring them in the air and this uh, artistic uh, style in, in Japan. And while I'm living there and I realize I am understanding a lot about what makes a human feel something and what makes them uh, have intense moments and very intimate moments. So I like to apply this thinking uh, to creating a space and how can I affect more people than just this one directly. So I eventually I take rope and I start to make an installation outside of the space itself and eventually further and further. And uh, uh, this project, uh, the Stone Series came from this idea of uh, where you have these serendipitous moments with nature, where you come into a natural environment and uh, the right elements align so that you have this very uplifted, very light, very focused feeling. And I think to myself, how can I capture that? So I take part of the earth and part of the mountain that is usually very strong and sturdy and now bring it into the air and make it something that is very light and that can uh, have some movement. And so, uh, yeah, when I realize this is possible, I think, what can I do with this? And to make these pathways becomes very clear. You have this journey from the ground that you're very used to up into the air and then back to the ground. And hopefully along the way, you feel something uh, that you can experience. My name is uh, Amichai Gunen. I'm a structural engineer working with uh, Benjamin. We build it uh, first in a 3D computer model uh, to get uh, all the data and information uh, before we move the first piece in reality. Um, on site, we use uh, this computer model to have all the points on the ground that eventually would be the anchors and the column bases and the stones. Then we put together all the anchors in place uh, and we erect uh, the columns put them uh, in place, tie them, secure them. Then we proceed uh, to hang the stones. Uh, we use uh, heavy machinery to hang them in the approximate uh, position. Then we attach all those wires to them. Uh, once all the stones are in the air roughly, uh, we do fine tuning with uh, smaller, more delicate uh, equipment and tools. We use uh, steel and stone as uh, those stones weight a lot and we also account for people climbing and walking on those stones. The artworks, uh, it's about feeling something. All my works are interactive. And so I think this is the most important thing. I think some people would walk up to it and they might feel pressure that they should uh, try to get to the top or get over the installation. Uh, but to me, uh, the most important is that when you approach it, you allow yourself to feel you, how you are meant to feel. And uh, for someone, maybe they run up to, and up down the other side and they feel nothing, and they, but they have a fun experience. Maybe it's, it's funny, they take a picture. Someone who walks up sees it and to them, uh, they feel this like maybe fragility of, of their life and, and fragility of uh, their body and as they get old or something like this. Uh, and I think it's really important to feel these things and acknowledge them uh, and to allow them to affect you. Well, I think the nicest thing about the Horizon event, what I'm uh, loving is, is just the uh, possibility of the locations. I think there's not so much opportunity in the world to build something of the size and uh, ambition that I'm uh, interested of, but in a beautiful natural landscape uh, in, with only a small village nearby and uh, the hill, beautiful hills surrounding us.